you know, the history of the federal government, I mean, anytime you concentrate power, it, it's pretty sad in a number of ways. So we can lament that it's, you know, in, in this particular way to think about Black History Month, this is, a, this is one way to sort of lament uh, how the federal government has not been a friend for sure. Um, so to, to go to our next topic, which is, has to do with federal governments um, not being friendly to certain things, uh, Norman, uh, Bitcoin lately was criticized. By, oh yeah, not not necessarily our federal government, although there's plenty of people <laughs> in there who probably have something to say. Tell us the story of the federal official, or I don't even know how to generically well, refer to her. So go ahead. Just, I mean, there's uh, a lot of stuff to say. There's been a lot of stuff to say about Bitcoin recently that that I think is significant. I mean, the the progress of Bitcoin over the last few months alone has been absolutely astounding to watch. And we've highlighted it even in our show here before. We've talked about it on the, the LCI blog a little bit here and there. And I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon, of course, yeah. um, because anytime we're interested in, you know, kind of reclaiming the, the tradition of sound money, whether that's in gold or silver or in, uh, in a new appreciating asset that has the potential to be the best form of money in as a tech in a technological sense that has ever existed in history, I, I think that's something to be really excited about. And so what we've seen, especially that's that's kind of neat, is we we reached kind of some really cool mile markers in the Bitcoin economy, if you will, namely that for the first time, uh, the, the total market capitalization of Bitcoin exceeded $1 trillion over the last week. And that's pretty crazy to consider. Um, yes, we've seen a pretty you know, substantial run up in the, in the last three months. And in fact, of course, we're seeing even right now a pullback and, uh, and that's not insignificant. And that's okay, we can admit that. But the fact that we've crossed that little barrier, yeah, it's kind of arbitrary. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna go back and forth, up and down. And, and cross it again, that this is the first time it happened. And I just think that's notable. It's something that like the, the, the fact that this has happened and, and in a period of essentially 12 years, we've gone from a white paper that explains some aspects of code and solve things like, you know, the Byzantine general problem and the, the, uh, the, the putting together of, of cryptography and the blockchain and all of these ideas. And, in, and it's now a trillion dollar asset is really, really cool. Uh, and, but also in the last week, we had some pretty funny stuff occur. Of course, there's market manipulations going on all the time. And the Federal Reserve is, chief of, is, is the chief among those. And uh, something that kind of was funny that occurred was that we saw Janet Yellen uh, talking about Bitcoin this week. And, and in fact, you know, it's, it's kind of notable to, to just to, to remind ourselves that nowadays, you know, whereas five, six, seven years ago, if you heard anybody from the Federal Reserve talking about Bitcoin, it would have been like, well, what's a Bitcoin? Uh, but now it's common parlance. Uh, now blockchain is a thing. Now the, the tables have been turned and they're running scared. Uh, so it's, I think that's pretty exciting. And I just wanted to share this kind of interesting picture that, uh, that, came, from, that, <laughs> that came recently. Um, and so here we go. Uh, you, you cannot make this stuff up. It turns out, that Janet Yellen was in, in a press conference over on January or January, February 22nd, noted that uh, she, that it, Bitcoin is extremely inefficient, but that within another 48 hours, the Federal Reserve System went completely <laughs> down and in its ability to send money back and forth from banks. Oops. So while, yeah, it's like big oops there, huh? Whoopsie. Janet? Whoopsie. Uh, I guess we're, I guess you, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't stop the inevitable. And, uh, and that's what's great about Bitcoin is that it's now to the point, I would say, where it has reached a measure of inevitability. And, uh, you know, the, the feds are going to run scared. Like, they can't stop this anymore. So, you know, this is an exciting thing. You know, it's kind of interesting because not all Austrian economists have really come down and, and, and really agreed on, the, on what Bitcoin has the potential to be mm -hmm. to, and, and become. And that's kind of, I think that's a little lamentable. Um, there have been, you know, I, and, and, and I'll, I will admit that the, the tides are even changing on that. I think we're realizing even among Austrians are realizing kind of that, uh, that you know, this is, this is for real. And they're realizing that perhaps monetary theory uh, has, is due for some updates a little bit. And that's okay. Like we, 
that's the way this stuff runs. I mean, <laughs> we accept that as part of the as part of the process of doing economics. Uh, and so, at any rate, I think it's super exciting to see that Bitcoin is making these huge inroads, and yeah. I'm excited to see where it leads next. Um, you know, we're we're to the point where you know the sky's the limit. Uh, so there's a lot of things to learn. And if you're you know if you, if you're curious, you're not sure what Bitcoin is or how it works and whatnot. We again we've talked about it here on the on the, in our show here. We've had podcasts about it, and we can recommend all sorts of resources to learn more. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably put out more in the future. Um, but suffice to say, this is not financial advice by any means, but it's worthwhile learning about sound money standards and the, and a good book that I hope that. Uh, you know, that will hopefully get the author on the podcast at some point. It's Saifedina Moose uh, book, The Bitcoin Standard. Check it out. And yeah, I think this is an exciting time to be into sound money uh, in a new way.